everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with my first ever like specified video when it comes to baby buys um so if you are new and you aren't aware i am currently 20 am i 25 weeks pregnant i don't know when this video is going up but i'm in my second trimester and i'm pregnant with baby girl number two um i have got a collective haul of stuff i have got I think it's all since I found out the gender because it's all, yeah, it's all like pink stuff, not pink, but like girly stuff. Um, so I'd say within the space of five, six weeks, I've collected this stuff. Realistically, I got it all over the weekend that's just gone because there was a mum sale and it's the first mum sale that I've been to since finding out the gender. If you don't know what a mum sale is, it's basically a secondhand place where um, mum goes or mums go to sell like their secondhand stuff for quite affordable prices so um the majority of it i have literally only just got two days ago so the stuff that i got prior to the mum sale some of it is new i'm literally just gonna check it all on the bed and go through it that i've been looking for that that is for peas christmas stocking note to self to put that in there um i'll show you uh something that we got for p as well so when we found out the gender of the baby the evening of we went to sainsbury's as like a family um and picked up some bits so we got this for p it's just a little t-shirt um obviously she won't be wearing it now she'll be wearing it in the springtime should have been eight pounds got reduced to four to two pounds forty sorry um in age four i feel like i've gone really dark all of a sudden um I look really festive because I'm wearing a green jumper with gingham bedding. Just getting in the spirit. I probably should put on my little Christmas lights, but never mind. Um, so that is what that looks like, and we got that for P. Um, at the time as well, they had 25% off of sale price as well. I don't know where my receipt is. So the prices that I show you, just know that it was less than that so for the baby i picked these up i want to say i paid like four pounds for them there are a set of three rompers this time i'm actually due in march middle of march and previously p is a november baby so i don't really have experience of having like like a three month old in warm weather i am the type of person that loves to put babies in baby grows i don't really do outfits but if it's a hot summer like we experienced this year i got some of these these on reflection look massive babies and sizes are really hard to gauge p was a very small baby she was six pounds eight when she was born but she stayed in her clothes for a really long time so she was a newborn for like was it like um three weeks maybe even a month and then she was in up to one month until she was a certain like it was her brackets of clothing were so out um i think she was in like six to nine months at like a year or maybe a year and a half i can't remember it was that long ago now um so i got these rompers just for the summer um so we've got this really pretty like spotty one and then you've got the stripes one in mustard and one in like a nice gray color i really like these these should have been 14 pounds full price they went half price to seven pounds and like i said i had 25 percent off so i think it was like four pounds 50 or something that i paid for those um and they're beautiful and i love sainsbury's clothes so we got those i got this on the proviso of like maybe first christmas sort of style with um like tights um so this was originally nine pounds again went half price to 450 and then had 25 percent off that as well it's just a really nice um soft pinafore God, brain's not working with the little wooden buttons I'm really, sorry it's really creased it's been shoved in a bag um, but i just really like this and i know i've got nothing like this within this size um of peas up in the attic she's got like bigger ones so i thought that was quite sweet and for the price i was really happy to get that i've got these for i don't even know when 12 to 18 months whenever she goes into them she'll wear them 
I only got them because they were really cheap. So I got a white pair. They should have been five pounds, went down to 150, and that was the price that I paid. Um, so 12 to 18 months, sort of like little shorts. So I think this with like a little strappy top, whether the baby will be wearing this, yeah, 12 to 18 months. So like spring 2021. So how far in advance I like to buy some stuff. Um, and then I got them in the grey as well. And again, they're 150. So that'll be when she's one, which is ridiculous because she's not even born yet. Um, this is the sort of style that I was talking about. So little vests like this. Again, really creased. These should have been five, went down to 250 and then had 25% off of those as well. So again, I don't know how hot it's going to be. I don't know how babies deal with heat. Um, so maybe just like something like this in the summer with socks and like little shorts. I don't know. I don't, I just like keeping babies in grows, which you'll see in a little while. Um, so we've got it in the mustard and then like a really nice like just white cream which won't stay that colour for long. So I've got those. Um, picked these two up. Now these were a funny price. They're up to one month. This was Neil's like suggestion. He really likes these. So we've got a mustard one and like a like a grey blue long sleeve top. Um, these were, what do you want? I haven't got anything for you feline. These were I don't even know. I think we paid like two pounds for them because the tag's not on there and they should have been, go away, you're going to get in my way. Um, these should have been a three pack, but obviously there's one missing. So I think we got a third, we got half price, then 25% off and then a third off. So they were, I don't even know how much, really cheap. Is that it? Is that all I've got from Sainsbury's? Yes. That's the only brand new things I have got. I did actually buy a pack of baby grows, but Ellie told me to return them because she'd got one of them in the second hand sale for like 50p. So I got £10 back, but I've also found the other one that was a part of the set second hand anyway. So I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, some other brand new bits, which you will probably see this time next year for like stocking fillers, like a stocking video or first birthday video. I found these in Aldi for 1.29. I can't remember how much they were full price. I wanna say they were 4.99. They were really reduced. Just little bath toys. P doesn't have anything like it. Um, so I just thought for the price, why not? So they're nubby. You've got the little squid squirter and you've got splash and catch net. A Couple of C shop finds. I buy things if they are really cheap. This is really cheap. It's at also massive um, and definitely not needed. I got it in nine to 12 months. Again, it's just what I do. It's just how I buy things. It's got a tiny stain on the collar, but I can get that out. Um, it's next and it's beautiful. So it's white with little buns all over it. And I just love it. Like I said, I love babies and baby grows. P was still in like some grows at that age anyway. And then eventually she went into pajamas. But I just, I just love them. So I picked that up for 30p. Um, and I also got this one for 30p as well, which was six to nine months. Looks like that. So again, that was 30p. Next, really cute little grow. And then I got this one which again was 30p, this is mother care, up to one. And it's just got little bunnies on. So I really like that. We do not need any clothes. I have brought quite a lot of clothes since finding out the gender in the mum sales. I haven't brought anything um, brand new because it's just crazy like the money that you save shopping second hand and obviously it's good for the environment and everything like that. Um, so <laughs> I just, I need to go through the stuff in the attic but I just love it all and I've got basically an outlet of Next upstairs in the attic but I just can't help myself and I want this baby to have something new that's not new but it's also not peas if that makes sense. So let's start with the stuff from Saturday at the mum sale. Oh, I've got some snack wrappers in there as well. Let's throw that down there. 
take the rubbish out and pop that up there. I'm so glamorous. Okie doke. Right, let's show P's things first. I didn't get her too much. Just because I find at mum sales, it is predominantly baby items as opposed to like three to four or four to five. Um, I did manage to get these. This was 50p. It's a nice little dress from H&M. So it's grey with black polka dots. P's got a couple of these that she's wearing already. This is in the size, I want to say it's two to four. So P can fit in that now. I just need to give that a little wash. So she's got that one. Um, and then the other one is this one. It was from Tesco's originally. And this one was priced at a pound. And this size is four to five. So I don't think that's going to fit her now. It does look quite small actually. Um, but I will potentially put that away for next year. Just so she's got it. Um, and like I said, that was a pound. So I really like those ones for P. Um, and then stuff for the baby. I did really well. I am quite particular about brands. Just because I know what I like. And I know the quality. And I mainly go for next. Sometimes John Lewis if the price point is like affordable. Um, so the first thing that I got that wasn't from either of those was this. This was in size 3 to 6. It was 50p. People go all out. Like, she got a label gun and everything, this lady at the stall. Um, so, it's this little romper. So, again, perfect for summer. The reason why I got this is because P actually had this in the blue. Um, so, I really like this. And then I can get P's one out. I don't even know what size hers is. Probably the same size, actually. So... Yeah, I think it was. I think it was the same size, but she ended up wearing it in... Was it May that we went on our, ho our first holiday? Maybe it was June. So yeah, P went into like three to six months clothes, that's six months. Um, so that is that little romper. So this baby grow, which again is next. And it's just got little bunnies. This is a print that came out when P was born, which is why I picked it up. Um, she's actually got the like the vests. Uh, I never got the grows. So this is one of the grows. This is six to nine months. And this was 50p. So I just thought, why not? And then I got two from John Lewis. One of them wasn't worn. I can't remember which one. I think it was this one. And it's just beautiful. Um, I don't have any John Lewis grows, uh, but this is just stunning. This is right up my street. I love this sort of colour and I love the trim. Don't know if it's really going to focus on camera, but it's beautiful. This is 0 to 3 and I don't think that one was worn. That also came with a little hat. Won't be wearing the hat, I don't think. I don't really do these sorts of hats. Um, unless it's like newborn coming home from the hospital. Um, so we've got that to go with that one. And then the other one I picked up is this little one. Those two I saw and then I walked around the venue a couple of times and I kept thinking about them. I was like, I've got to go back and get them. And um, they'll hold their worth and stuff for when it comes to like reselling and stuff. So this one is from the same pack. I really liked it. Neil said, why did I buy a baby grow with pigeons on it? And I now see his point because <laughs> it does sort of look like there are pigeons on the baby grow. But I really like it. Again, it's 0 to 3 from John Lewis and it came with a matching hat and those were £1.50 each. So a little bit more money, but beautiful quality. And I really, really like those. And then the other stuff I've got to show you are things from... Oh, I forgot about this one. Another little romper in 3 to 6 from Next. This is what I'm after, because I, I really don't know what babies are like in that sort of temperature. It's not like it's scorching hot, but um, yeah, I got that one as well. So I'm after those as and when I can find them. The rest of the stuff is from Next. So one stall had both of these. These are, oh God, it makes my womb hurt. I'm so happy we've got another girl because it's just girls stuff. It's just oh, so beautiful. Um, not to three months, this is the pound, uh, and again it was from Next, I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but it's just beaut, 
So it's this really pretty like lilac and it says happy bunny on it. I don't know how I'm ever going to part with these things. The baby hasn't even worn these yet and I just love them. I really don't know how people sell all of their stuff. The lady said that she loved this one on her little girl. And again, it's from the same set. There wasn't a third, um, unfortunately. I don't know if there should have been. But this one was up to £3. It was a pound again. And it's just a beautiful print. Like, this is me and a baby grow. Like, not too pink, not too garish. A really pretty floral print. I just... My ovaries can't, can't deal with that. Like, oh, I just love. And then, I picked up a couple more next grows I might put these ones in my hospital bag maybe not this one maybe this one I just really liked these these are the first things that I got so again these are a pound each these are are these a newborn or up to one up to one so I don't know if the baby will fit in up to one when it's born I, I don't know um so this is rainbows really really liked that one and then this one I love this one I think this one will come in my changing bag or my hospital bag and it's just got little stars on nice bright colorful stars quite simplistic but still girly at the same time like I don't I don't even think these have been worn like they're so well looked after they're immaculate so I picked those ones up and then from the same lady I got a little sleep bag sleep sack grow bag sack magique we call them because we're weirdos um so this was 1.5 tog it was three pounds where is this from matalan i'm going with yes matalan um it's very sort of like peter rabbit-esque um, so it's got the poppers here, and then it's got the little trim, it's got a zip, which is what I look for, and then it's like a really nice soft swaddle material. I swear by these, and we've got, I think the only ones we've got are 0 to 6, we don't have 6 to 12. This does look quite small, um, but for £3 it's immaculate, immaculate condition. And I just thought it was really cute. So, yeah, I think I remember when F P was first born, like we really struggled with like routine and what to do. And then as soon as we sort of knew what we were doing, as soon as we put P in her little um, sleeping bag, it was like she knew it was time for bedtime. So this is just so soft. So that was everything clothing wise from the first day. And then I just got a couple of extras. Let me tip all this down. Um, oh no, it's not. Sorry, I've got this one. I feel like this one's a little bit grey as opposed to... I don't know. I can't talk because I can't wash whites. This one was a pound and it just says little sister. I'm not a massive fan of like big sister, little sister or like sisters unite. Like, you know, you get all those like slogan things that's not really me but this is sweet in itself it says little sister it's got a little fairy on it it's from next and it was a pound so i just saw that and was like yeah i'll have that nice little picture thought it was quite cute don't know the size not really too bothered probably up to one yeah up to one so that's that one really sweet really like that then the rest of the stuff is like miscellaneous bits so i grabbed another one of these bottles um this is 50p i have got replacement teeth so i don't need to use that one and i will be replacing that um but like i've been saying i just think i'd rather save the do they go up to nine ounce I don't know, it's been so long since I've done it. I had pee, I predominantly mainly just reached for the smaller ones just because they're easier to sort of like fit in your bag and stuff. So I just have been trying to collect these as and when I see them in like mum sales and stuff. So these go up to five pounds, um, not five pounds, five ounces. And like I said with pee previously, she was taking up like two ounces at a time when she was first born and then gradually went up an ounce. 
so I've grabbed these ones and then once I've done with them I'll just pop them in the bin so that was 50p so I grabbed this this was 50p um it was originally from mamas and papas I believe mm, yes no it says it on there um the one that we've got <laughs> isn't very nice it's very like I guess it's better for the baby but it's very like bam bright colours red and blue and yellow and green and the white and black and it's just not my aesthetic I never used it with P um, so I will sell mine when I do a mum sale I just thought this was quite cute whether we put it on the side of the cot if we end up getting the cot out I don't know what the situation and the circumstances are going to be whether it'll go on the push chair I don't know but it was 50p and I really liked it so it's just sort of like this floral print you pull do you pull anything on this no I don't think you do no I've got the pulley one over there but yeah I just really liked it and thought it was sweet and when you go to mum's house you just get caught up in the in the vibe and in the moment um so the pulley thing that I got um I got three things from the seller and it was 20p each or three for 50p so I did that I got this little push chair push chair toy sorry uh, this was originally from mother care there's a little tea there so i just need to i think i can put it in the wash it says not to i'll hand wash it i'm sure it'll be fine so it's got like crinkly stuff it's got a little mirror it's got a little tea there um and then you pull the tail and it vibrates so again this can always just go on the play mat which i've already got um because you can like loop things on or I can put it on the car seat. You know, you know what babies do. They just play with these things and throw them around. I grabbed this from the seller. I loved this. And it was like, I'll buy it off you. I'll buy it off you for 50p. And I was like, no, I want it. It's, it's mine for 20p. <laughs> um, and it rattles. And it's originally from Next. I didn't even know Next to do this sorts of stuff. Um, but it's. I mainly wanted it for the tabs. Because like babies love ribbons and stuff. So you'll be seeing all this stuff, will it be, no it will be before stocking, I think the baby will just get this stuff, but you never know, you might see some of the stuff in a stocking video. Um, and then to just go with the little deal, I just got this little jelly cat, no it's not a jelly cat sorry, um, this little Peter Rabbit bunny, because I just thought it was really sweet and I really liked that, and it jingles, so cute. So that is everything that I got from the Saturday. I then went on Sunday, but really quickly, my friend Hannah, she was clearing out all of her baby stuff. She has got a girl that is a couple months younger than P, or like six months younger than P, um, and she was just like selling all of her stuff, and I had a little look through it, and I just saw this, and she let me have this, and I love it. Um, so this one is actually going to go in my hospital bag, because I just think it's beaut. Um, so it's from John Lewis, and it's white with little geometric print diamonds on and it's newborn and i just love it so my friend let me have that and then she also gave me these because we use the brand avent even though we use tommy tp bottles i'm hoping to still use avent dummies that we used previously with p obviously not the same ones i've brought new ones um but she had these and she didn't need them she's already tried to sell them before and she didn't sell them so she just let me have them and they were six to 18 months and p had these ones and we're absolutely fine on those so i've got those as well now on to the sunday stuff um again i'm literally just gonna tip it out and show you um so I think I'm going to start with the toys and stuff first. P got this little baby carrier papoose thing. So the baby's... Hang on, that clip's up there. I've been after one of these for a really long time. Um, and I can't believe I found it there for 50p. So I want to try and attach a little, like, bit of, like, material here. So it, it keeps, like, falling off her shoulders. But I can do that pretty easily with my sewing machine whether I will or not is another question um but I got that for her for 50p for like her little babies and stuff so she can copy what I do obviously when I have the baby and the papoose um I got a couple of high chair toys again pre-thinking things but you never know um this one is 
is it Lamaze? Lamaze? I don't know. Um, it's just like this thing that you stick just to keep them entertained whilst you're doing like their purees and stuff. Um, so we've got that one and I'll just shove that in like some, what's it called? Like disinfectant? Sterilizing thing, you know, like those Milton things. I'll get some of that. Um, and then a uh, wheel one, which I quite liked. And like you could spin these things and it's got textures and things like that. I don't know where this one was from. It doesn't say, it doesn't have a brand. Um, but they were 50p each. So I just thought perfect little things for the high chair. I then grabbed this. It probably needs a bit of a clean, but that's okay. We don't have anything like this for or with P. Um, this was originally from Sainsbury's. I paid one pound for it. So it's got the alphabet. Um, so it's got like the letter. And then if you spin it, it's like A is for apple, B is for bananas, blah, blah, blah. You know the alphabet. Um, and then on the other side, it's like a multicolored abacus. Never got one of these with P. I don't really know why. They're sort of pointless, but it's bright, it's colourful. They can make noise and like move the beads around and things like that. So I got that for a pound. Um, and then I grabbed this on a whim. This was two pounds fifty, and I don't necessarily need it. But previously I had just this stupid plastic bag that I put the nappy the wipes and the nappy sacks in within my changing bag um, and that bag has seen a better day and it's just tatty. So I thought this to go within my changing bag so it's like a designated place for stuff. So I didn't actually know what this section was for and then I got home and I was like Neil I don't get it and he was like this is for the wipes. So the fact he knew that and I didn't says quite a lot. Um, so you've got a little pulley thing for the wipes. I will probably keep them separate just out of ease. Um, so the wipes go there and then you can put like nappies and stuff within here. You can put nappy sacks in there. You could potentially put a bottle or dummies or weaning stuff at the back here. And yeah, I really like it. It's Kath Kidston. It was 2 50 like I said. She wanted three. I said, would you take two? And we went for 2 50 in the end. And I really like it. My auntie and Neil seem to think that the spots aren't supposed to be cream. Um, but they are. It's not supposed to be white. It's not discoloured at all. And this actually goes with my changing bag that my auntie and my uncle got me when I had pee. Uh, that's grey and white stripes. So I quite like this. And still can also just sit... Like if I'm, say, for example, just quickly popping out to do the school run and I don't need anything else, I can just shove that on the push chair. And then I've got, like, emergency supply of wipes and nappies if that be the case. And then I just got a couple of clothes. So, talking of school run, P will be doing full-time school as of September. And I'm thinking about this time next year... Oh, I got my acid reflux. Um, during the school run, the baby's going to get quite cold. So I got a snowsuit. This seems massive. I've got them in newborn size, so if it's cold in March, we're sorted. Um, and I looked at the six to nine month old sizes, and they were massive. Like they were so big. Like P would have fitted in that probably last year like they were huge so i just got this it was two pounds fifty it was from mother care it's in size three to six and i thought for school run quickly just keeping the baby in her pajamas once she's had her like nappy changed and then shoving her in this going to do the school run coming home and then getting ready for the day i thought would be better than just like loads and loads of blankets i can't remember the regulations when it comes to babies in car seats with this sort of thing on because I know obviously I don't put pee in a car seat with her coat on um because of the danger I can't remember if it's the same concept of this I can't remember the age that pee went out of like her carry car seat into her joey one where like you put them in and then they're rear facing I can't remember any of it so I just thought whether I use this within the car or not 
I've still got it for the school run and I've still got it for when the weather turns. It's a very long explanation as to why I brought a snowsuit, but I brought a snowsuit for that reason. And it's really nice floral um, and then it's got the turnovers as well to keep her hands warm. Still feel really weird like referring to the baby as a gender. I'm still not used to it even though I've known for like five weeks and then finally I've got some grows so at the start of the video I told you about the set that I got from Sainsbury's that I returned I found the newborn size of the one so this is what it's like so this is the little bunny one uh, and these retail at £10 and like I said I've just got this for 50p and Ellie got me the other one um, and the other one is with just this floral print there uh, so beautiful so that was newborn size from Sainsbury's so I'm really happy with that one and then from the same stall I struck gold Rowe move get out of my way god you're so annoying sit oh you're not my cream off just sit there sit still thank you um my auntie carol actually treated me to these i was going to pay and she was like no i'm going to pay and i was like no don't worry about it i've got it and she said that she wants to treat us so she did um and i picked up it was five no, it was one pound each or six for five pounds so i grabbed did i grab six yes i did um this is the least favorite one of mine this is from boots it's in size newborn um but it was like one of those rue honestly she knows she's being a diva and now she's just gonna jump down um yeah it was like the last one that i needed to get in the deal and i just felt like i was wasting time so i just grabbed this one uh, but i do still really like it so it's quite bright and colorful for me it's got like a teal trim with like vases of flowers um and it's a pullover one the only thing I didn't like and didn't realise, it doesn't have scratch mitts. The fact that a newborn sleep suit doesn't have built-in scratch mitts just blows my mind. So I've got that one anyway. And then all the others were from Next. So this is in size... Is it newborn? Up to one. Really cute little... Um like floral design with the built-in scratch mitts and then at the bottom it's just got like little red stripy feet I really like this one really thick really nice quality and then this one must have been part of the set but I couldn't find the third so again this is obviously up to one month it's got like a little cat again a little bit more not necessarily my style but I really liked it I thought it was quite her quite quirky so that's that one and then it's got like the corresponding feet with the matches with the other one. So I really like those. And then I grabbed this one, which is a bit bigger. It's a darker one. I really like babies in dark colours. And obviously my, well, my genes are so that our baby is going to have dark hair. Because myself and Neil have dark hair. Um, so again, this is from Next. I want to say this is 0 to 3. Maybe 3 to 6. Where's the tag? up here three to six so that's that one really really sweet and obviously when the baby's like three to six it'll probably be wearing outfits by that point and wearing those for bed um and then i grabbed this one which is in size <laughs> up to three and it's this really nice like botanical floral print with hummingbirds on it and I really liked the little sleeves really sweet this one doesn't have built-in scratch mitts either which is strange for next but I guess it's because of the little sleeves but it doesn't matter too much when they're a little bit bigger um, and then finally my favorite one which I absolutely love like I love it so much this one is in size three to six if this was newborn this would be the outfit the baby would come home in it's got a little little lacy collar don't know if you can see that and i just i just can't how beautiful it's got like are they hydrangeas i just love it it's 
stunning. So that is everything that I have acquired over the past couple of weeks. I won't be doing any shopping within supermarkets or shops. I haven't been looking because I can't justify the prices when you can buy all this stuff second hand. Um, I don't really even look in charity shops anymore just because I know I don't need anything. Um, so the next mum sale will be, I think it's in January. I am going to be going to the next Boxing Day sale. Unless there's something that I absolutely love, I won't be getting it. The things that I want to buy brand new are bibs. Um, that's just something that I would rather buy brand new. So I need to get some of those in the Boxing Day sale. But other than that, I'm happy shopping second hand. So that is everything that I have got. I really hope you enjoyed this sort of baby buys section wrap up video it's sort of like a second hand finds but just a baby edition so i'm just going to leave it like that i'm going to go i've got to go to the doctors and have my whooping cough it's not pronounced whooping it isn't it whooping but it's a silent w but i call it whooping cough but i say things wrong anyway i say that i brought stuff and i know that's wrong i know it's bought um what am I saying? I've got to go to the doctors. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.